Yeah, because I'm too cheap to go out there and find an intro track. Hey everybody, um, this is the third book in our opening um, beginner bike series for the Beginner Bike Book Club and I was going to be janky with this one. I was going to actually um, switch up and do a different book for number three than what I put in the, you know, the rollout video. But, um, you know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, when I gave you all the, the, the books, I really did. Um, I spoke to one book. I called number three, four and four, three, and I just went ahead and went with it. Um, but for a lot of people, this book that is going to be, I announced it as number three, and I'm going to stick to my word and leave it with number three. This book actually is one of the first books that a lot of people recommend to people. And um, you've heard of it before, I'm sure, if you're watching this video. It's called Twisted the Wrist by Keith Code. And um, this is actually Twisted the Wrist 2. Um, there's a one and there's a two. He kind of markets it markets it as if um you know one leads into two but I, I honestly feel like you could just go jump straight and i bought both books but i honestly feel like you could just go ahead and buy a twist of the wrist two and be good to go with that um let me say this this is the basics of high performance motorcycle riding so this is really not a book best suited for riding on the street and that's why i feel the way not to say that the skills learned here can't be applied on the street because they can and i get that but that's not the focus of this book. And I think that is why I have kind of the issue with this being the first book that people read as beginners. I mean, it's a great book. Everybody should read it. Everybody should learn and practice the information that's in here. But as for a beginner, I, I like for people to get their foundation, um, get their foundation under them, get their basics under their belt before they shift over to trying some of the things that are in Twisted the Wrist. Now, let me tell you, when you read Twisted the Wrist, you're gonna, you're gonna hear some consi very consistent themes. Number one is, Throttle control, throttle control, throttle control, throttle control. Um, actually, you know, building the um, the technique, the motor skills, the, the 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 refined skills of managing your throttle when you're riding the bike. Um, understanding how you twisting the throttle, whether you're giving it more, or giving it less, is actually going to affect the suspension and the balance on the bike understanding you know also um what your survival reactions are he's going to talk about about survival reactions and i don't i'm not going to dive into like this is a training course there are already videos out there and you can even watch a video of twist of the wrist you know like the movie um if you go surf surfing around and searching online you can find that um i will note you know there's some diagrams in here there's some um photos in here but they're they're typically not color um, there are a lot of um, charts and um, bullets in here that are very useful. Um, it's a very methodical and um, approach to giving you the basic um, the basic practices um, to to work on when you're riding your motorcycle, especially in in the turns, the cornering. And especially at speed, um, he will encourage you to not try everything at speed initially and to not try to pick up your speed, you know, by cranking back on the throttle, but rather by improving on your techniques. You're going to um, spend a lot of time, I just said, on throttle control. You're also going to learn more about rider inputs. Rider inputs are not just the throttle, but also, you know, what you might be doing with the cl clutch or what you might be doing with the brakes. Um, definitely, you're going to learn about steering. And um, I think Keith Cole does an excellent job of helping those of you that struggle with counter steering to really appreciate that it's a true thing, that it really exists. I found that to be like the weirdest thing because, you know, we all know my story. I grew up riding on bicycles from a very early age and um, riding 10 speeds in the street and things like that in the traffic. And so for me, counter steering came very natural. So the idea that people were struggling with this and that they were actually fighting just what, you know, to me is a very natural approach. I found that interesting, but Keith definitely talks about that. 
He's going to talk about your lane selection. He's going to talk about steering. Let's see what else is in here. He's going to talk a lot about reference points. Um, there's going to be reference points revisited. And just the concept of reference points, I think that is one of those things that, yeah, it actually is very beneficial once you get out on the road um, to apply those techniques to um, become a better rider, become a safer rider. And especially when you're out there in, in the, in, you know, carving canyons we don't have canyons around here on the east coast but um you know we have mountains riding through the mountains and riding the curves you know the twisties um it, it from that standpoint it really is you know a great go-to book and that is why the book is in the top five and so um, again, I'm not going to dive any much much deeper into here. I will say this, that there is, you know, some good information on braking. Um, there's also some good information on uh, preparing you for a track day or preparing you for a race day. It very much is a sport bike oriented book, although the skills and the topics covered in this book can be applied to any other type of motorcycle, touring bike, sport touring, adventure bike, um, scramblers. The things that you learn and practice in reading Twist of the Wrist can be um, applied to any motorcycle, although it is very much, you know, the sport bikes, sport bikers Bible in, 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 the, in the riding community. Twist of the Wrist 2, Keith Code, um, definitely a must read definitely something for you to go back and continue to study with time don't just limit yourself to you know um, one round of the book and you know also uh, i guess I'll, I'll plug them but keith code also has the california superbike school so this is kind of like you know the manual before you um, go out there to, to do the california superbike school and we're going to talk and we i've not done it before but i am going to hopefully get that one under my belt this just you know this year's a wrap and um maybe next year we'll be able to do that and then we're going to also do a couple of other um, bike schools that we're going to cover and so in some of those instances there'll be some books associated with them so you know we're this is now three books into the series we have covered the um msf basic right basic rider course handbook that's book number one if you haven't seen that go check it out um we have covered the oh crap what was number two? Oh, proficient riding by david huff was number two and we've now done twisted the wrist by keith code it's listed at 1995 but again i'm pretty sure if you go on there you could probably find a used copy for five bucks or something if you just don't want to spend the money it's worth the money but if you don't want to spend it you know because you know you motorcyclists are some of the cheapest bastards out there but um you definitely you know you can find it that was this is book number three and then next we're gonna our next book i'm really excited about and that is um a book called Total Control um, by Lee Parks and so you know and I've seen some good reviews by Total Control or on, on Total Control already but we're gonna still do our version of the Total Control um, bike review so thank you for um, for um, tuning in thank you for clicking the button click a few more buttons click the subscribe button you know click the like button go down there drop a comment if you think that this was whack go down there and say this is whack I don't really I, I care I care I care no I don't um, but definitely um, give us some feedback click some buttons um, we want to keep the keep the ball rolling on this I got a couple of more you know I got like another 10 books that I want to cover so um, definitely um, keep keep coming back for more because we got more for you um, when you get back here